Today I will be teaching you how to update your Inspire 1. First thing you need to do is take it out of travel mode. So turn on your controller. Turn on the copter. Take it out of travel mode. And now turn the copter off and attach your camera. All right, so we got that. Place it level. Turn the copter back on. Okay, so now that that's done, plug in your device, whatever tablet or phone you may have, and format your card. Go ahead and press the setting key here. Go down to format SD card. Make sure you got all your pictures and everything off of there that you want. And now that that's done, you can go to the computer. After formatting the SD card, go ahead and turn the copter off and grab the SD card out of the camera. Now we can go to the computer. So on the computer, go to DJI's website, go to support, go down to the Inspire One downloads, and then you want to Go to Inspire Firmware Update, grab the zip file. Once that's downloaded, click and open the downloaded file. You can see that's the package you want there. Take your formatted card, enter it into a USB stick or something, another. Plug that into your computer. You should see it pop up on the taskbar there. So right there it popped up. Go ahead and drag that onto the SD card there. Eject it. Take this over to your craft. Go ahead and plug in the SD card to the camera. Now this SD card has been formatted and the firmware has been loaded on it. Now you can turn on the copter. And you can hear it making that noise letting you know it's updating. Okay, so now it's making a different noise. It took about five, six minutes almost because it started the timer a little late. Hear this noise? It's going dun, dun, dun. So that means it's done. What you want to do now is turn the copter off. Go ahead and remove your SD card. Put it into your thing here. You're going to need something for the SD card and a USB port. Now, the controller is off. Plug the USB in there with the firmware on here and turn your controller on. Red light. I have to wait a second. See, after a few seconds, that turns blue. And now we will time that. Okay, there we go. Not even five minutes, right at five minutes, and the controller is done. And now we can check and make sure that this was all done correctly. So go ahead and power off your controller. After you power off, remove that and let's go to the computer. At the computer, we're gonna go ahead and plug this in. Go to the US, or yeah, go to the USB thing. And you'll have two new things uh, on your SD card dot txt go ahead and open those and you can see results there success for the first one and the other one also says success so there you go both of those were a success and now everything is updated and you can confirm on your iPad or whatever you got now let's see if everything's still linked up after the update. So turn your controller on, turn your craft on. And we can see we got a green there. 
looks like everything worked correctly. And there we go, overall status, normal, latest firmware. Another way to check is to press the settings icon up top, scroll down to the bottom, go to about, and here you can see all your firmware updates. Uh, so everything is updated. The final thing you're gonna wanna do is calibrate the IMU. So make sure you got the copter on a flat level surface. So flat level surface back there, go up here to mode, go down to advanced settings, sensors, and then at the bottom of sensors, IMU calibration, and it says it will take five to 10 minutes. So let's see how long this takes. Now everything is updated, so get out there and fly.